east of I-69. Otherwise, this one headed towards the I-94, I-69 interchange has a little bit more energy with it. There's other another one up uh, near the southwest corner of Kent County, Ottawa County, moving into Allegan County as well. The track on this bigger system uh, heading into uh, Marshall here, any second now in the region, uh, uh, Fredonia, rather, we'll see that here in about uh, 12 minutes or so. And then Eckford continuing to see that as it moves to the south and east. A live look right now in Grand Rapids. It's the perfect cloud cover overhead. Beautiful shot. Uh, those are starting to break up, continuing to filter out of our region as the northerly wind dries us out, drops the humidity, brings us lots of relief. Here's a look at the broader view of the visible satellite across the state. Notice in the far southwest corner where there's no rain, actually seeing lots of sunshine. Most of the moisture is off to the north and east of the West Michigan area. Grand Rapids seeing the clouds, but within the next few hours, we're going to be turning mostly sunny or if not clear. As for tonight, the stray showers are continuing to move out of the region as well as the cloud cover. We're going to stay dry for the rest of the week as well. There will be a system that approaches us late Friday night, but I think most of us are going to miss that should stay west of Lake Michigan. As for our best rain chance here in West Michigan to see a chance of rain, it's going to be late Saturday night and into early Sunday morning, and it looks to be an all day rain event for the second half of our weekend. Now it's not perfect timing, but it is so much needed to rain, so we need to welcome it any way we can. As for temperatures right now, some of us touching the 80s after that rain moved through. Uh, cloud cover up to the north and west have kept them a little bit cooler in the mid-70s, 74 in Big Rapids, 76 in Ionia, but those 80s along US 131. As for temperatures, uh, excuse me, dew points, they're starting to drop a few 50s showing up north of I-96, as well as 54 in Kalamazoo, but 60s pretty much everywhere else and along the lakeshore as well. So we're still dealing with a little bit of humidity, but the relief is continuing to settle in as this cold front moved out of the area and the moisture continues to filter to the east as well. We're on again the far west side of any moisture and we'll continue to see that filter out of our region overnight tonight and into tomorrow. The northerly wind will be around tomorrow as well. That'll help us stay mostly sunny, much more comfortable conditions. Temperatures in the low 80s on Friday and going into Friday. We're going to stay clear uh, overnight Friday into fr uh, excuse me overnight Thursday into Friday morning, but it's on Saturday that the clouds really do start to set up as humidity builds once again. Tonight temperatures will be in the mid 50s for us. Very comfortable night as the clouds clear in the 80s on Thursday and Friday, mid to upper 80s on Saturday, partly cloudy skies, and then the rain system moves in. Looks to be late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, maybe lingering into early Monday morning. But the biggest thing after that system moves in is the heat. We're looking at temperatures in the upper 80s near 90 on Monday and on Tuesday. Wednesday tracks another chance of rain, but the long term looking once again warmer than average. Our average high starting to dip back down just a little bit from the mid 80s, and we're looking to stay warmer than that.